Hey YouTube, here's another collection video from me. This is my uh, Spyderco Police and Rookie Collection as I have it today. Um, as you can see, I don't have all of the variants that Spyderco has produced in these, um, just a, a couple. So let's get started right off with the, the Rookie. This is the Sprint model that they did about four years ago. Um, they used the foliage green G10 on this. Um, I think they actually put the boy dent in this model. I'm not sure if originally it came with it. Really nice, small, uh, EDC-sized blade. Normally, I don't go for these uh, size blades. Um, they're just a little too small for me. Um, but I will say that this one fits in my hand very well. Uh, it's got just enough handle for me. Um, any smaller, and I probably would have been complaining about that. Um, I usually do like the handle to come all the way uh, out to the end of my uh, palm. But this one feels really good. It's got a beautiful little swedge grind up there on the top. They did a pretty good job on this one. Uh, it's very symmetrical as well. VG10 steel. Hollow ground. And uh, as you can see, true to the original, it only has a uh, liner on one side. It's just the G10 on the other. Pretty nice piece. Now, in the same vein as these, these are a pair of the older style police that they uh, offered in G10. And uh, the box dates on these are actually from 1999. Uh, so I've got uh, one in the plain edge, and then one in the fully serrated edge. And uh, what you'll no notice right off the bat, too, is the fact that the the name is actually uh, etched into the blade, so this identifies it as the police model. Both of these are an ATS-55 steel, which is a steel they used briefly before they switched over to VG-10 at Spyderco. Just like that uh, rookie sprint, these both have a single liner on one side. Carries actually pretty high in the pocket. Uh, as you can see, its uh, clip position is only in one position. That's a right-handed tip tip down. Um, usually not my preferred carry and usually why I don't carry these because they're kind of rare as well. Um, you can see that it has the rounded over hump. There's no jimping whatsoever on these. Like I said, it carries fairly high, um, but it is very thin for these blades. Now if I uh, show you the differences, this is the the new generation, the Police 3. Uh, the name has been taken off and they just have the Spider logo now on there. Here's the Plain Edge 1. And then the fully serrated again. So if we take a look at that older generation, you see that uh, the new Gen 3 is actually a little bit longer in both ways um, in handle size as well as in the blade you can see the tip difference as well this was one of the changes that they made with gen 3 trying to reinforce that tip it's much more like the uh, gen 4 enduras now how they changed from a gen 3 to a gen 4 enduras uh, not quite as um, robust a tip i would say on say the the saber ground gen fours um, i don't have any of the gen 4 enduras with the full flat grind so i'm not sure somebody could probably comment on that if that tip is consistent with the gen 4 enduras uh, again very thin but now we have double liners on these ones vg10 uh, for the japanese uh, made models usually and uh, for the era so vg10 on the gen 3 police Still a pretty uh, thin knife, even with those uh, dual liners. Really not much thicker, if at all, than the old one. Significant difference in the texture of the G10 between these. Uh, this one is um, feels a little cheaper. It's uh, got more of that plastic feel. Uh, it's a little more open as far as the weave pattern from the peel ply than, uh, than this G10. See how they groove the 
put m much more of a rounded single finger groove as opposed to the old one. There's jimping now. Well, there's actually a choil, which there wasn't on the original one or the older generation. So the choil now plus jimping on both ends of the blade. It's got the boy dent. There you go. Get that glare off of there. All right. So that's it. Those are the police models that I got. Stay tuned for uh, some more collection videos.